Good morning. We are at Trust and Pond National Wildlife Refuge. One of the big things when you're going birding, and especially in migratory uh, season, early May, early June, um, go where the birds are. And Trust them is one of those places. It is right on the coast in Matunic area, and it is just a, a, an attractant for migratory birds, not only in the spring, but in the fall as well. Other than that, it's a beautiful spot. I come here in the winter, um, I come here in the summer, I come here in the spring and the fall, and just do the walk. It's a really easy walk and still see a lot of stuff no matter what. Uh, it's beautiful, both trails go out to the water, one Otter Point, one Osprey Point. Uh, we're here today and uh, let's see what we can see. beginning of the trail that comes out to the field and a lot of times I'm very surprised by the birds that I actually see in this area. Many times there's towies, gnat catchers, plus at the visitor center they have a ton of birds, uh, bird food stations set up so it definitely attracts a lot of uh, bird feeder birds. Coming out to the field in the um, in the middle and like in this uh, late summertime filled with butterflies and all other kinds of insects like that. So. Yellow wobblers are <laughs> extremely popular here. There was a time last year, I think I saw probably 40 to 50 yellow wobblers in, in one of my walks. Catbirds are extremely popular here. Pond. Um, that you can see snapping turtles, I've seen the muskrat, uh, green heron, stuff like that. See all the lily pads and it's pretty cool to come here because the bullfrogs and the, the turtles are pretty common. You can see some of the lily. Is that the kingfisher? Great place to see red winged blackbirds. You can hear yellow wobbler over there. This is the path out to Otter Point. There's a little chipmunk in by. Lots of uh, yellow wobblers. Catbird coming out. Lots of cedar waxlings today. Uh, a lot looking like they're grabbing nest building materials. this area they have some cool outcroppings where uh, you know you can see the water uh, I don't know if you just saw that that was awesome and I don't think I got it but a turn just like literally caught a fish right in front of me wow that was cool <laughs> I don't know where it came from but it came down boom hit the water and came out with a fish. That's one of those things that I didn't expect and obviously didn't catch on camera. But, you know, stuff like that happens. At least I got to see it. So that was pretty damn cool. Anyway, here is part of that. Uh, that little island right there has had osprey nests on it 
uh, the last couple years. I don't see one to this time. Uh, it's always good to look out for water birds. So again, here's where it comes out. It's pretty foggy today, but it's a beautiful day. It's a little humid, but. Common yellow throats, a hero. White Iberio. Out on the other point, you see Moonstone Beach, and if you look in the distance, you can see Block Island. So this is the uh, area where uh, they have the bird feeders. <laughs> it's a great place too if you, you're in here to maybe practice your bird photography because uh, the birds are always usually around here. So heading back towards the car, that was, uh, I did two days to trust them. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer vlog because there's just so many birds here and so many things to see. And again, it's just a great place to come um, at any time of the year, actually. Winter, we do snowshoeing. Uh, and as I said, the winter ducks are pretty cool out in the, the bay. And Moonstone Beach is on the other side. Um, I'm going to go over there at one point. And right now it's a sanctuary for the piping plovers. So uh, you can go on part of the beach. And uh, I'll, I'll probably do that just to see if I can get any pictures of the plovers. Right, good birding. So as I left the parking lot, I made the turn to go onto Moonstone Beach, and right before that, I saw this red-tailed hawk had caught a rabbit uh, right on the side of the road. So I stopped. I filmed it for a little while. I felt bad because I couldn't get around it without scaring it up. Hopefully, he came back uh, to grab to grab what he had caught. But all right, good birding.